cotton earbuds may be harmful for your children. One of the common Sunday rituals in most Indian households include grooming. This is the day when parents encourage kids to cut their nails, clean their ears, apply hair oil, so on and so forth. What has always been considered as a basic cleaning tool for the ears is now being touted as dangerous. A study conducted by Nationwide Children's Hospital researchers found that over a 21-year period from 1990 through 2010, an estimated 263,000 children younger than 18 years of age were treated in U.S. hospital emergency departments for cotton tip applicator-related ear injuries, that is about 12,500 annually or about 34 injuries every day. Using cotton buds to clean ears may seem harmless, but they have the potential to cause minor to severe injury to the ear, researchers have warned. The two biggest misconceptions I hear as an otolaryngologist are that the ear canals need to be cleaned in the home setting, and that cotton tip applicators should be used to clean them, both of those are incorrect, said Krish Jaitana of the Nationwide Children's Hospital in Columbus, Ohio, U.S. The ear's canals are usually self-cleaning. Using cotton tip applicators to clean the ear canal not only pushes wax closer to the eardrum, but there is a significant risk of causing minor to severe injury to the ear, said Jay Tana, who is senior author of the study published in the Journal of Pediatrics. Some of the serious cases of damage to the eardrum, hearing bones, or inner ear can lead to dizziness, problems with balance, and irreversible hearing loss. The study found that the majority of injuries occurred as a result of using cotton tip applicators to clean the ears, 73%, playing with cotton tip applicators, 10%, or children falling when they have cotton tip applicators in their ear, 9%. The most common injuries were foreign body sensation, perforated eardrum and soft tissue injury. Data for this study were obtained from the National Electronic Injury Surveillance System, NICE which is operated by the U.S. Consumer Product Safety Commission. These products may seem harmless, but this study shows how important it is that they not be used to clean ears, J. Tana, who also serves as associate professor at the Ohio State University Wexner Medical Center, said. Inputs from Ian's. If you like the video please subscribe my channel.